Role of Imaging Professional What would you do? In most states, medications must be prescribed by a physician, but a technologist can administer various drugs for diagnostic procedures once the drug is prescribed. Too often, technologists are asked to administer dangerous and sometimes life-threatening drugs with little or no training. What are your policies at your facility? A little history. For years, it was the responsibility of the imaging technologist to assist the radiologist in the administration of drug. A technologist rarely would inject contrast or other drugs without a physician present who would continue to monitor the patient even after administering. But now, times have changed. It is now common for the technologist to complete the exams requiring administration of drugs where the physician is never present. Regulations, the Joint Commission and ASRT adopted the following position statement. The nuclear medicine technologist shall be able to prepare and, where permitted, administer radiopharmaceuticals and other agents used in conjunction with the nuclear medicine procedures to patients by intravenous, intramuscular, and subcutaneous injections, aerosol, and oral methods. Ethics and legal implications. There's often conflicting information regarding which states allow technologists to perform venipuncture. In order to be sure, contact the respective state's Department of Health in which you will be working in. Standard of care. Medical negligence. Failure to do something that a reasonable person of ordinary prudence would do in a certain situation. Medical malpractice is a breach of duty to adhere to a standard of care. Both fall under standard of care to be applied to measure the competence of the technologist. In the past, the medical professional held a certification on a regional standard, but nowadays the technologist holds a certification on a national level. This standard is said to apply to everyone practicing in the same field no matter where they are. Therefore, wherever the technologists practice, they must maintain the same level of competence within their particular field. Liability. A large percentage of technologists are trained on the job with limited direction and supervision. Depending on the respective state's requirements, a technologist can work in several different modalities without actually holding a license in each. Some states permit radiographers to perform nuclear medicine and sonographic studies with only an x-ray license. This is a problem when a technologist crosses specialization lines and practices in the fields in which they have limited education and experience. <clears throat> Liability issues increase with new principles applied to imaging professionals. Individuals with limited education and experience are expected to perform in the same manner as qualified personnel. Healthcare facilities that require employees to perform procedures beyond their educational expertise are ultimately liable for the employee, but the employee remains personally liable for all professional activity. Educational standard. In radiography, nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, and sonography, educational standards have been developed that define what the accredited program must do to educate students. Curriculum guides set forth by the ASRT for the imaging sciences define specific areas of study and required content to be covered for each area. In case of litigation, these educational requirements are reviewed to determine, the, to determine whether a person practicing in a certain field had the appropriate education. Attorneys will also reveal, con, review continuing education requirements that the technologist being investigated completed. An educational standard should be met by all personnel practicing in the field of medical imaging. Obtain and maintain certification in area of expertise and maintain currency in the field of it by attending CE programs and reading published articles. Any professional who does not keep current and maintain continuing education will be will place themselves at a greater risk for both making mistakes and being liable for them. Professional standard. The standard established to determine the appropriate professional practice is generally set by the discipline's national professional organization. The professional standard may be in the form of a scope of practice or a series of guidelines set forth to determine what healthcare specialists should or should not do. Professionals who become stagnant or refuse to change the way they practice may be personally liable if they fail to re meet the recommended standards of the professional. Many believe that if they learned a procedure in school, it is the right thing to do. 
Just because something was learned in school does not mean it's still appropriate practice 10 or 20 years later. It is your responsibility to stay up to date with your practice. HIPAA, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. I'll repeat that, Health Insurance Portability and Accountable Act. The goal is to ensure health insurance portability by eliminating job lock caused by the pre-existing medical condition, reduce health care fraud and abuse, enforce standards for health information, and guarantee security for privacy and information. The imaging technologist's primary concern when dealing with HIPAA compliance is patient confidentiality. The technologist must be extremely careful when transferring patient information both inside and outside of the department. Patient charts, releasing films, and reports. Failure for a facility to comply in HIPAA standards could jeopardize the institution to close. Estimate cost of achieving, achieving initial HIPAA compliance is more than $66 billion. In conclusion, although most states have a required certif certificate or licensure for imaging technologists, majority of these laws do not specifically address venipuncture or drug administration. Whether a technologist in the silent state is protected against litigation may be determined by the legal system. Those states with no licensure completely expose the image technologists to legal scrutiny. The end.